Hi everybody, welcome to my first haul of 2024. I have released a video in 2024. This is my actual, like, first haul of 2024 of, like, when I actually bought stuff. I went to a consignment store. They had a, like, bag sale. I think it's, like, happens, like, one, at least once a season. So, like, four times a year. Um, This happened to be, like, a winter clearance one. I'm not sure when their next one will be. Probably sometime in, you know, February, or maybe February or, and eh, no, not February. Probably, like, March. Um, maybe early April, so, yeah. So, I got a total of 96 items for $50. Uh, it's $10 a bag, but she was kind of, like, low on, uh, bags. So, I have, like, my Ikea bag here. Like, there's everything. It's, like, huge. And so, I, like, fill my Ikea... I, I've done this the past few times, and I fill up an Ikea bag, and then she gives, gives me a price. Um, and then t this time, she's like, okay, $50 for all. That was a great deal. I was really excited about that. Makes big average cost goods fifty two cents. I'm not showing you guys ninety six items today because uh, some of it is for my mom and sister, and there really aren't brands um, I pick up to sell, so I'm not going to show them. But here's everything I got for myself to resell, like either at um, the bicycle trade store or my Poshmark and eBay stores. So this is I think my sister will try this one on. It is a Prana size small, like fleecy Sherpa jacket. So I don't pick up all Prana, but yeah, this they have this priced at thirty seven dollars. I'll probably list it at like thirty eight or forty five something. All right, this is a good American like Sherpa jacket. Um, it's like a nylon material on the front, and then the back is like Sherpa. So I thought that was cute. I don't pick up all good American. I will pick it up at, at the bag sale. I would look this one up though. It's just yeah. So it's size two, which I think is a medium and good American. Um, yeah. So this actually did not have a like a red line through it, um, but it expired on eleven nineteen twenty three. So I asked about it, and she's like, yeah, everything that has. E she said this before, but she said I'm not. I always just ask just to make sure because I don't want to like you know accidentally take something that I shouldn't have. So. Uh, and she's like, yeah, that one's good. So if it has, like, the expiration date on it without the red line, um, as long as it's past the expired date, you, you're fine. Um, this was another thing. This is an Eileen Fisher uh, sweater blazer. Um, this was thirty two ninety nine, dollars And it expired on the 16th of December. But it's just like a, you know, sweater, long line cardigan blazer. To uh, delint it, obviously, but it'll clean up nicely. It's a merino wool cashmere blend. I think it's reversible if you want to remove the Eileen Fisher tag, or I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I think so. Maybe not. But I, I feel like it could be. Um, and then you'd also have to remove this as well, but um, I'm just going list, to list it as like that. Um, and sweater shave it should clean up nice, and hopefully I can get around $50 for that. All right, this is a new brand to me. Um, it felt like decent quality. And t-shirts, like, don't take up much space in the room, so, um, in the bag, I guess. And the brand was called, I, I started searching P-Norm, and I couldn't find anything, and then I searched up first P-Norm, and this is actually supposed to be an H, but it doesn't look like an H. Um, it's like an athletic brand. The comps were mixed, so we'll see how this does. Worst case scenario, I will take to the Bicell Trade Store. Sorry if you can hear, we're watching dogs right now, and they're like barking so if you can hear that i'm sorry okay this is just like a basic anthropology top and a size small for four um, it has like a like a floral flower print so um this was priced at 26 and i'll probably list it at 25 and hopefully i get you know 18 and 20 for that okay i've actually never found one of these before i'm not sure if like sometimes okay this is a j crew and sometimes when you see j crew just like skip it by but for whatever reason, I like looked at this one more closely, and I saw J. Crew, but it's actually one of their sweater blazers, which I've heard do really, really well. I'm excited to try one of these out. Um, this person, I'm gonna like list it. It's it's the J. Crew factory, which I've heard doesn't matter too much. This is just the 100% cotton one, but it feels like a wool, honestly, or like a merino. But um, I like the color of this one as well. So hopefully, you can get like 35 for that. Like that would be really nice. I, this was really exciting. So my, I said so my mom, I go to the shoes. Okay, so I go to the, I did not get any bags. I was not the first in line. I was running a little bit um, behind and I did not get the, the first in line and there was two resellers in front of me and one lady got like every single bag. I mean, she grabbed every 
single bag. There was probably like 20 bags. She grabbed all of them. Yeah. And she didn't know brands. Like she, this, so I bet, Apparently, like, she, I overheard her talking to somebody. She has, like, her own shop, and she, like, I mean, I could just tell that she didn't know brands, like, respectfully. Like, she just did not know brands, but she was just, just, like, looking at retail prices of the bags, and then the ones that, like, were, that the consignment store marked up, she kept, and the ones that, like, were, like, lower, she, like, put back, and she put back, like, three. So, that was a bummer. I missed out, like, on Amy Kestenberg and, like, Dooney and Burks and coaches and stuff, which is, it's okay. I, because I, I was the first one with the shoes, and I got some decent shoes, so, um... I'm I'm pretty, I'm I'm happy with it, what I did. The cost of goods is great. Like this is better than the bins. I was there for like, you know, an hour and a half because the first like, mm, twenty minutes are like you look through the sales section and the rest is like deciding what you want, putting it in the bag. My mom helps me every time, so yeah. But she found this. This is just like a Razorback tank top. I've not found this brand in forever, and it is Viore. So Viore out of bag sale is so good. Um, they have this price at twenty five dollars, and I'll probably list it at thirty eight or forty. Viore is just such a good brand. Um, yeah, even like a tank top like that is gonna sell so well. So I was so excited about that one. All right, this is for the buy sell trade store. Uh, I was kind of like in my last rounds, if you will, just like thinking what to pick. Brand is like Love Kyla, which I don't think is is, is not anything. And that is priced at eighteen, and this is just like a colorful like top. I figure like the buy sell trade store like. We'll take this one. It appears to be in excellent condition. It's just like a polyester, probably like a lower end boutique brand. But uh, I just thought it was, yeah, I feel like they should take that. And if not, I can just garage sell that one or donate it. I will not list that one. My mom found this one as well. This is ATM, Anthony Thomas Malio. Um, text kind of hard to see. And it is priced at 22, which I'll probably list it at 25. I have an ATM shirt that has not got much attention and I thought it would. I found it so um hopefully this like does okay it's like a jersey fabric very nice um fabric but i love tank tops because they don't take up much room at all all right this uh i don't know i just don't enjoy selling this brand it's soft surrounding size so extra large and this is like a jersey knit uh maxi dress so and it says extra large and like excellent condition so i definitely wanted to get that they had this priced at $49. I will probably list mine at $38. If I had to guess. I'm not really sure because I don't sell soft runnings that often, but I had to grab a few things. All right, this is a pink athletic jacket quarter zip thing. I could probably get $20 for that. It's a, like a Barbie pink color. It was priced at $19, so not bad. All right, this is... I might list it myself, but I, I probably will... It's solitaire, which can do okay. It's a size large. Um, they have prices 26, but it's just like one of those like b embroidered like tunic blouses with like the you know roll tab sleeve. So um, a pretty easy piece to wear. The buy sell trade store like will take this all day long if I wanted to take it there, but maybe I won't. I don't know. I I heard that brand can do okay, but I don't know. Maybe I have a lot of stuff, so I kind of want to like list like the better stuff and just yeah buy yeah. All right. This is speaking of which the Bamaki wearable. All right, I will be taking this one to the buy sell trade store. So, uh, I've never, like, yeah, same thing. I heard this brand can sell sometimes, but this is just, like, a, like, a poncho. But I feel like they're gonna like these colors and stuff. It's, like, a more springy top, and they're looking for, like, spring now, so I grabbed that. Okay, this appears to have some spots to it, so I'm gonna just take that to the Bicell Trade Store, which is not a big deal. They might not see that, so. All right, this is Anthropology Kimmy and Kin. Um, just, like, a, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I feel like this, like, the whole sleeves are a bit outdated, but I do like the embroidery, but I feel like the Bicell Trade Store will take that one, so we'll see. Hopefully, they do. I will sell this one myself. I feel like I've sold this blouse before. It's Sundance, it says extra large, and it's like this crinkled rayon tunic blouse, so I could probably get $25 for that, so I like selling Sundance in, like, larger sizes. All right, this um, is called Haas and Tropia. I never heard of it before, but it was new with tags, so I just grabbed it to look it up later, and it had lycra, so I was like, okay, I had like a whole bunch of fancy tags. I think I missed a belt, because it has like belt loops, so maybe I'm going to see if I can find this exact style, and if it came with a belt, I'm just going to take it to the buy sell trade store. Usually when I have stuff that's new with tags, and it has a flaw, they, I don't know, it's kind of like me, when I see that something new with tags, I just 
I'm like, oh, there's nothing wrong with this. And then sometimes I get home and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's already a flaw. But I think the Bicycle Tracer does the same exact thing. So, all right, the last time I saw this brand, I got it from the back sale and it, did, it sold for $8. It did not do well. This XCVI says extra large and it's like this like peekaboo lace, but then it has like a covering here. So it's like only, it's almost like a V-neck, but it, yeah, it has like kind of crochet. I like the style of this one. So it's red, it says extra large, like cotton top. I liked that one. So grab that. All right, this is probably the most hideous pattern Lululemon has ever made. I mean, it's so, it's so ugly. Um, and this will be going to the buy, sell, trade store. It's a, like a tank top. I do not leave Lululemon at the back sale, size eight. Um, so yeah, they will give me like $5 for this one. So when I'm paying 52 cents, this is in excellent condition. So I don't, I think they should take that. And if they don't, then I can probably list it, but I don't know, they had a price at 26, which will, that's the, where the buy sell trade score is going to price that. Okay. Um, this is like a, just a cabbie blouse. My mom was just tried on, it's a size medium. The buy sell trade store, like, I don't know. I feel like the consignment store is like cabbie better than the buy sell trade store. So I don't have always, but cabbie, like some pieces from cabbie can sell. So I do sometimes pick it up. All right. I usually don't pick up this brand, but I just really like the style on this one. It's Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is a size large, um, and it is priced at 35, and it's just like a khaki jacket. So at first I was like, oh, that's kind of boring. And I saw these like embroidered cuffs, and I was like, oh, that's, you know, a little bit better. Then I flipped it around, and I saw like that embroidery on the back. So I was sold on that, and I grabbed it. So hopefully that does okay. When I've sold Lauren Ralph Lauren, it's actually done okay. So yeah. All right, speaking of brand, I do like to sell this brand, um, just not in the style. It's Eileen Fisher size 16 which is a good size and these are just like an off-white like kind of like a pale yellow maybe cream denim jean i think for sure denim is not my best seller but they're always like organic cotton and they have some stretch so these look to be like a tapered leg so maybe a mid to high rise probably yeah so looks like it so hopefully i can get you know 25 dollars for those I'm not leaving eileen at, at the bag sale all right, these are athletic skirted leggings, which I, yeah, I would not have picked these up at Goodwill or even like in a bag sale if they're like an extra small, but with them being a size large, my last athletic skirted leggings in a bigger size did okay. So um, I can probably get, you know, $20 for those. All right, this brand I've been like kind of experimenting with because some things can do well in this brand. These are Boston proper, which I like pass on most of the time, but I've had some pieces so really fast from them. So um, these are a size plus size 16 and they're like a snake printed cargo -y, like straight leg pant. So I thought they were an interesting style. Um, and at the bag sale is a great place to try things out because my cost of goods is low. Um, and it's like, here's my thing. When I'm like on the fence about something in a bag sale, like I almost like think it's kind of free cause I'm like, I have room either I get it or I don't. So it's not like affecting my cost of goods at all. So yeah, I got these for me. These are Abercrombie size extra small like men's striped uh, shorts. I need to measure the inseam. They kind of look maybe a little bit long, but I guess, but like they like are like really like stretchy. I don't know. They're called, what are they? This is Abercrombie and Fitch stretch. These were put on the shelf on 117 of 2023. So they had almost been in the store for an entire year and they expired on 318.23. So that means these have been through like three bag sales. And I just saw them today, and I, I was like, oh, I kind of like those. So um, I need to try those on, though. And if not, I'll take them and play those if I don't like them. All right. This is just a sundry skirt. Sundry used to do better for me, but uh, it doesn't do as well anymore. But I feel like this is a decent style. So hopefully I can get, like, 20 to 25 for that. Um, here's one of the things I wasn't sure about, but it expired on 12 10, 2023. This is the Athleta Cosmic Skirt in a size 1X. I've never seen like a style like this before. Um, it's kind of like a high-low hem, like an athletic skirt. So I thought it was kind of nice. So I grabbed that one. Driftwood jeans. These are the fair style and they have like just like beading on them. They're skinny leg with a raw hem. So hopefully I can get $25 for these. Um, driftwood jeans don't always sell the fastest for me, but they usually do sell. Um, GD Blue. These are the boyfriend fit, and these are just like a, you know, distressed boyfriend jean in a size 30. Um, they have like stretch. Usually I take my Judy Blue to the Basel Trade Store, but I probably will list those because I just like listed denim. 
I was very excited about these. These are AG Adriana Goldschmidt, and this is one of my favorite sales, the ex-boyfriend uh, Slouchy Slim. And these were priced at $29 again, but they expired on $11.29, so I knew they were okay. They are a light, like a light wash. They got, you know, boyfriend jean with like fading. This is a great wash. I prefer the non-distressed um, denim to sell. So the fact that these are not as stressed and like the leather patch is like in excellent condition. So I grabbed those. All right, these two, I was on the, I was on the fence about these. So these are Madewell jeans and these are a size 30 tall, which is a great size. There's a 10 inch Harry skinny crop, which at the bag sale, I'm not going to like leave like Madewell tall jeans behind. Maybe if they're like a size 25 petite, but this pair just has some like minor like puckering so i was like ooh, i don't know about that um so i'm gonna try them at the bicycle trade store first but if they don't take them then i will sell them probably and um, this one these ones had some pretty major puckering so i do not pick up madeable jeans or adriana goldsmith jeans or like frame jeans or ragged and bone jeans with that wear the only brands yeah so but like when you wear them when somebody wears them though like they like you can't see it so it's not like a huge a huge deal but i don't know these are size 32 tall so had these been like a size 24 i don't think i would have got them but they're a really good size so um and they're like a nice wash but they are skinny which um so hopefully the bicycle trade store might like overlook that i have seen pucker jeans at the bicycle trade store so yeah all right this is my one of my other favorite styles that ags sell these are the mary or Marie mary or mary um high rise straight right style but they look like a skinny jean they're definitely like a slim so i don't know what ag was doing there i don't think yeah they're just size 27 but i definitely wanted to get these um my last pair of mary harry straights they were both in the same they were in a light wash and they had the raw hem and they like were definitely a, a true straight leg and those sold for over seven dollars each so de definitely don't sleep on ag some sells candy well i like like the subtle logo pocket so that's really nice Okay, so my mom got these. It's, the brand is Franklin and Daisy with an I. And they had these priced at $39. And this tag does not look that intriguing to me. I was like, why did they have these priced at like $39? I was like, that's weird. And they are new with tags. But then I flipped it over and they have a $145 retail. I've never heard of the brand. I looked it up and I did not find much on it. But they were like a pull-on jogger denim jean jogger jeans sell so well for me i don't know why so i might list these myself i don't know how to do because the brand isn't like that well known but um that style wise they were really good so i got those all right these are ag these are the prima cigarette ankle um they have some like pilling there and I, which i need to get my sweater shaver and like maybe a little bit of thinness and i'll note but i would i wanted to get them because they were size 32 which is an excellent size um and then yeah I'm happy. Just, the prima style does so well for me and they're just a classic blue wash okay these are for the bicycle trace store judy blue um relaxed fit they just have a little bit of wash wear to them and like like a little bit of like yeah so they're kind of like worn a bit but i think they should overlook that they really like judy blue so i must always take it there so i will be taking those at the buy sell trade store same with these um my mom got these and she's like do you really want these and i was like i would have not even like considered these at like a goodwill or the anywhere else but the bag sale so rag and bone for intermix um size 27 but these are the legging which means like a skinny jean they're just like stretchy skinny jeans they don't have any like puckering or anything like that which is good um there's the logo um again green skinny like legging they're very soft but uh yeah they had these priced at 19.99 um i hope they take those i don't really want to sell those all right these are for them as well these are frame size 32 um i would sell them myself uh, because they're size 32. They're the Lay Skinny Day Jane Crop. Um, I love, I really like this raw hem with, like, the slit, and they have, like, the little, like, button there, which I think is cool on both sides. All right, so I did like them. Um, but they have, like, some puckering, so, yeah, I don't know. 
uh, they're kind of worn, so I was like, you know what, I'll probably just see if they want those. Because if you're going through it, like, honestly, like, you can only really see the puckering if, like, you, like, lift the leg. And when I, like, watch them inspect their items, they really don't do that. So if you're just kind of, like, going through it real quick, they really shouldn't be able to see that. So, okay. These are AG, the fair high -rise skinny, and they're just, like, a dark mid-wash high -rise skinny jean. These used to be better for me. Um, so now, like, I don't pick them up at, at the Goodwills anymore unless they're, like, a plus size or something. Or, like, new with hags, which I haven't found new with hags AG at the Goodwill, but, um, out of bags, so I will. Alright, these are cabby, um, size 6, and they're, like, a khaki jogger, like, chino pants, so I got those. We'll see how those do. I feel like this style would do well, but if not, I will take them to the Bicycle Trace store. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to find these. Um, okay, so... I, yeah, so these are just, like, a, like, a little, like, jogger pants with, like, an ankle zipper. So, the two, uh, sister-in-laws came to town, if that gives you a hint. Veronica Beard made it to the bag sale. I could not believe it. So, the beast priced at $30, which is, is even a bad price. And they didn't have the red line through it, but they expired on 12 24 23 So, I was like, heck yeah, get into my bag. They are a linen blend, so very exciting. I've never found Veronica Beard at the um, Goodwill before, so that was really exciting. I was really excited. All right. These, I got these because they're new tags, but they're Abercrombie, the skinny high rise, and the size 37 or 24. So these are a plus size denim, and they are a, like a skinny leg, and then this leg is a stress. So plus size denim actually does not sell that well for me, but uh, since they're new tags, Play-Dohs loves Abercrombie anything so they retail for 99 dollars as well so as long as it's like yeah so and they pay like well for their abercrombie jeans like so if these do not sell i will list them but if they do not sell Plato's will take those and they will price them good all right i had never heard of this brand before um it's called denim arts co by gd blue i'm not sure if that's a diffusion line or something i'll look it up they have these at 25 but so it's by Judy Blue, which is why I got them. I hope, and they're just like a skinny or maybe a, like a relaxed straight leg jean, like a straight leg with distressed details, and they still have that like Judy Blue stretch. So I need to look those up, but hopefully that doesn't like I don't know. A force case scenario, I'll take them to the Bicycle Trade Store. Oh, my mom came over with these, and I was pretty excited. So these are mother jeans at the bag sale, and they are a just like a you know a mid rise skinny jean with a raw hem. They had these priced at $43, and these are the Mother Looker Ankle Freight and Wink. So, they're size 30, which is a great size. These are my first mothers of uh, 2024. So, and there's the M Pockets. So, nice light wash, no distressing, mid rise. Freight hem size 30. I'll probably list these at like $85, so that was pretty exciting. Um, especially the back sale. I don't think I've ever found Mother at this back sale before. Okay. Soft surroundings, size 16. They're, I heard their denim does not do well. I have sold their denim before, and it did not do well. But I got these because they're straight legged, have these like embroidered, like beading details. So I was like, okay, those have to do well. And they are high rise. So I was like, okay, I will definitely try those out. And if not, the Bicep Trace Store will take those. My last pair of denim is like almost like an acid type wash, a pair of GD Blue denim, size 31. And they're like a distressed. Acid wash boyfriend jean. Yeah, boyfriend fit jean, yeah. So um hopefully I can get like 25 to 30 for those. We'll see. Okay. First I key it back down, and next I just have like some other shoes and stuff. I actually moved through that pretty fast. Alright, I grabbed these. These are a pair of Merrill like boots. These are in really nice condition. They just have a bit of creasing, but nothing too bad. They just priced at 29. I'll probably list them at like 38 to 45. I like the style of these. I think Merrill is a nice quality brand. I don't usually pick them up at Goodwill, but in the bag sale, absolutely. Um, not even every sale of the bag sale. These are a pair of Jeffrey Campbell point toe booties. They kind of remind me of the brand um Chloe. I feel like they have like a style like similar to this, but not like the exact same. Our size eight and a half. On the head, it's priced at thirty nine. I'll probably list them at like fifty dollars. Jeffrey Campbell. The columns can be very mixed on the items. I've sold Jeffrey Campbell boots for two hundred twenty five dollars, and I've sold. Jeffrey Campbell for, I couldn't sell it, so I took it to the Bicycle Trade store, so it's a very mixed brand, um, so definitely run your comps on it, but other bags, so I'm not gonna run comps on brands that I know, 
um, especially if I know I can take them to buy, sell, trade, so that's just, yeah, but they, these are in really nice condition, I probably will end up listing those myself, I, I, I initially skipped these over, but then at the end, when I was kind of like, doing my bag, I saw them again, and I'm like, those just, I don't know, I, I knew what the brand, the brand is just a Vince Camuto, which I, like, I don't think I've ever picked up Vince Camuto before, maybe, like, one time, and I'm, they definitely sold, but these are a, like, a high, like, cream, or, like, a tannish cream, um, boot, um, genuine suede leather, and these are, like, in pristine condition, I mean, they were not worn much at all, and the, if they were worn, they were taken really good care of, they have, like, a heel, like, the heel looks really nice on those, so, yeah, so I was like, okay, you have a tall, genuine suede boot in a hard color to keep clean, in excellent condition. Like, why why wouldn't you get those? So I got them, and I can probably list them at $50, so I was actually like, okay, that's actually not bad. All right, just wanting to pop in real quick. I don't feel the best, but, um, so I looked up comps on those Vince Camuto boots, you know, expecting, like I said, $50, and the comps were, like, actually crazy. I listed them at $125, and within two days, I got an offer for $100, which I accepted. So something I almost didn't get turned out to be my best item of the bag sale. And I think one of my third best items I've ever gotten in the bag sale, my, it's tied for a second, actually, because my, I found a pair of bed stew boots that sold for $115. Then I got a QVC leather jacket that sold for $100 on eBay. And now these Vince Camuto boots that sold for $100. But um, nothing has sold that fast for that much from the bag sale. So I'm absolutely thrilled and absolutely, so I guess, it goes to show if you have a gut to just either A, look it up, or, well, look it up before you probably get it. But I don't think I would have got those at Goodwill. And that's crazy because they were definitely worth getting. Okay, these were the first pair of shoes I grabbed, and I was very excited. So see those little two dots? So these are Ufus. It kind of looks like bed stew, but I have found bed stew at this bag sale before, but not this time. But like Ufus, I found at Goodwill twice, or three times. And one time they were really worn, so I did not get them. But every time I found them, they've sold so fast. These are women's size 11, and I try them on because I'm, like, a men's size 8.5, so which is, like, a woman's, like, uh, 10 to 10 and a half. Um, I walked around the house in these. They are so comfortable. Like, wow. Like, I need to, like, find a pair of my size because I don't think I've ever, like, these are so comfortable, so I get what people like them. For white, they're in really nice condition. I don't feel like I need to clean these up at all. Now, these priced at $37. Nobody wanted them, um, probably because they were, like, a bigger size, and it's kind of hard to sell those, but... Um, yeah, I was super excited about these. You can probably get $50 for them, but they sell really fast. Yeah, I, those are so comfortable. All right, this is just a North Face, um, Denali jacket. Um, it's a pink, like, I don't know. I don't do well with those, so I'm gonna just try to garage sale it, and they do well at the garage sale. All right, these are a pair of, uh, I thought these were Madewell booties. I didn't look at the brand when I grabbed them. I just, just could tell they were genuine leather, so I just grabbed them real quick. They're Jeffrey Campbell, and they're just like a, you know, Side on booty in a size eight and a half. That these priced at 38. I bet, I bet these are from the same person as the, where's the other Jeffrey Campbell booty? Oh, it's right here. Oh, yeah, that's right. So this one didn't have any red line through it, but it's it expired on 10, 28, 23, and the account number was 1407. And then this one was also 1407 and also expired on 10, 28, 23. So these were from the same person, and I feel bad because none of them sold, but. Um, I got them at the back seal, so I'm actually pretty happy, so thank you, person. Um, sorry, they didn't sell, but, okay. Um, oh, okay, so these I, somebody put back at the end, and I think they were fine, but when I took them out of the bag, when I got home, like, this, like, thing popped off, but it's fine. It can, like, glue back on pretty easily, so I'm not, like, concerned, but the brand is FSNY, um, so I looked it up, and it seems to do okay. Um, they had a price at 33 but I like the style of them. You can tell they're leather made in Spain. So, classic style with, like, that block heel. So, the um, comps were pretty mixed, but I think I should get maybe 30 And then, if they don't sell, I can take them to the Bicel Trade Store because of style. All right, this, um, I could tell, I don't know. I thought these were going to be Vince shoes at first, but they are not Vince. They're actually Gentle Souls by Kenneth Cole, which some styles can do well. I have never picked it up before, but at the back, I'm willing to try. They're black leather, like, sneaker shoe, and I like the style of these. These are size 7. Um, hopefully I can lose these at, like, 32, but the Bicycle Tracer will take those if I can't sell them. 
I, th I think my sister's keeping these, but these are just Dolce Vita, like, I don't think these are, I think these are faux leather, but they're just, like, a cute pair of, uh, just trendy heels, so, and if not, Plato's or the consignment store, or Plato's or the Bicel Trade store will take them. Okay, I don't do well with this brand, but the bag still, it's fine. I saw that big hook, and I'm like, okay, fine. Like, that takes up not very much room. Um, all the Kai's, they have these priced at 22. I probably list mine at 25. All Kai has not done that well for me. I think my last pair of shoes, and these were pretty, a nice little find. I think my favorite is the Ufus, though, out of everything, but these are a pair of fry meals, um, and a really, really, really nice shape, so, um, there's that. And they have these priced at $46, and they expired on 12 13 23 So, I, yeah, so, um, these look, they, they weren't, like, worn a lot. They definitely were worn, but, um, toes look pretty good. So, I'll probably list these at 50 Fry doesn't always do that well for me, but I did like the style of these. I'm not going to leave Fry at the bag sale in nice condition. So, all right, the rest I have is clothes. More clothes. So, um, this is for the Bicycle Trade Store. This is not a brand I pick up, um, but it was new with tags. They like new with tag Arc & Co. But this is like a purple, like, tiered hem, like, dress. Um... So, hopefully they'll take that. Since it's new with tags, they think they will. I should make sure to take off the consignment store tags. All right, this is actually pretty an exciting find. So, I've never found this brand before at, like, Goodwill. It is Cleo Bella. So small. And it's, like, a blazer. So, Cleo Bella is... The comps are mixed, depending on the piece. I can... There's a new with tags. One of the, this listed for 69 but some things can sell in the hundreds... Not very many, I don't think, but um, uh, some things can sell for twenty dollars. So I'll probably list this at thirty-eight to forty-five. But at a bag, so I'm happy to try it out. All right, this uh, I don't know. I almost left it behind. So it's another soft surroundings, size, large, and it's like an embroidered, like blouse. It has like a another like, I need to clip that in, but it's like a jersey camisole. Um, so I, it's nice that it came with it. So I need to like the the it has clips to secure it in. They don't have it secured right now, so it's like kind of like falling all, all over the place. But it's like a just like I don't even have it held up correctly either. But um, you know, it's yeah, it's a uh, yeah. I don't know. I had some loose threads, so I was a bit concerned. So. I, don't, I just don't think I get much for it because you can kind of see them. But so I'll probably take that to the Bicycle Trade Store. Um, yeah. All right, this is for the Bicycle Trade Store free people. I try to grab like any free people in good condition at the Bicycle Trade or at the back sale because the Bicycle Trade Store loves free people. So um, grab that one for them. And then this one as well. Free people does not do well for me. So I sometimes it can do okay. But this is just to go to Nick in a size large. But I don't know. Stuff like this does not do well for me. So, I, yeah, no. Um, and then this is, we're going to try to take this to them. I'm not sure if I'll take it, but it's a mateable size small. Yeah, just a flannel. I don't, mm. What is this? This is definitely like an older piece. Oh, it's like po pocket. Holiday 14, wow. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to sell this one or not. It's a rag and bone size small. Um, this price at 26. It's like a, this is like a French Terry interior. It's very soft and it's very nice quality, but it's just like the striped tank. And then on that guy has like a split. So maybe I'll list it for 25, but if not, the Bicycle Trade Store will probably take that. But, um, the mountain next to me is just unreal. I'll probably list this for 20. It's a cool, just women's top, size small. This is like my least favorite color in the world, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that does. Right. Uh, new tags Patagonia, so that's pretty. That's pretty nice. Uh, I need to peel off the sticker, but uh, it has priced at only nineteen dollars. Um, it retails for fifty-five. Probably listed at thirty-eight to thirty-two. 
This is Patagonia at the front. These are my favorite. Okay, this is a woman's, but these are my favorite t-shirts to wear. The Capeline polyesters. What, what is this called? The um, woman's cap cool daily graphic shirt. Yeah, the Capeline like cool. What is this called? Yeah, this is just these are like this fabric is my favorite to wear. The not the old Capeline, the new Capeline. There's a difference. There is a difference. It's almost like a silky polyester. Anyways, they're my favorite to wear in the summer. Like, sometimes the Patagonia cotton shirts can be a little bit, like, rigid for me. And, like, just, just it just doesn't feel good when I put them on. But, like, this polyester fabric, especially when they have, like, a small, like, Patagonia spill on the front and, like, a large one on the back. Those ones are my favorite because I just like the style of them. Um, but I like the little, like, design. So, um, those ones, are, the Patagonia, yeah, are my favorite. All right, this, yeah, another cabbie. Um, I don't know if if they're gonna take this or not um the, but it's a dress i probably will not sell this one myself because yeah but this store loves cabbie so um the, this can stand the store but they sell a good amount of it too but all right um so i saw this print and i was like oh those are cute little elephants um and i touched them like oh that's silk and it's yumi kim size small they've only had this person at 19 they they don't think they could read it because it just says yk so, I don't know, but, uh, Yumi Kim does not do well for me, so I'm gonna try to sell it because of the elephants, but if not, hopefully the Vicel Tracer takes that, I don't know if they will. All right, this one, I'll probably have it listed for a bit, and if it doesn't sell, I'll take it to the Vicel Trade store. How many times are you gonna say that in a video, but this is Anthropology HD in Paris in a size 2. But it is a, um, colorful midi dress. And I like the colors on it, so I grabbed that one. Like, any, like, Madewell, Free People, Anthropology, and Good Styles that I don't want to stick myself, like, the Bicycle Trades for, like, eats them up. And, like, any of that, like, bohemian, like, embroidered, like, style tends to do, like, well for me at yeah, the Bicycle Tracer as well. This is an Athleta, and they like athletic wear sometimes, but they can be picky with Athleta, so I might end up listing this myself. But it's just, like, a ruched uh, green olive green t-shirt. Um, if that does not do well... If they don't take it. I'm going to try it there first, but if they don't take it, then I will sell it myself. All right. Sundry size one. It's like a green camo ruched dress. Sundry has a really nice fabric. It used to do better for me. For, it kind of has cooled off a bit. But rails. I always seem to find a rails fan when I ever go. This is $19, $20. Um, it does have show wash wear, and it's like a sleeveless like flannel. This is rails for free people. This says rails free people. I'm going to try this one at the buy sell trade store first. I do not think they're gonna take it, but I can probably get fifteen dollars for it if they don't. So I was like, okay, fine. My pile is falling. That's okay. Um, okay, this I think is a more expensive line of free people, so I probably will try this one myself at first. Worst case scenario, the buy sell trade store will take this. I also do like the style of it. It's a size eight. It's like the ribbon tag when it's sewn on. Um, this is just, like, an embroidered, like, um, chest, and then it's, like, a cotton mini dress, so this color is really nice. The embroidery, the size is pretty good, and, yeah, so I was, like, okay, sure. All right, this is, like, this brand from Anthropology. I cannot give away to save my life. I've tried it, and I do not pick it up anymore. I just, yeah, but I got it for the buy sell trade store, so, um, it is postmark. I prefer, like, anthropology things to say. I don't think they do a postmark for anthropology anymore. I think they've, like, since dropped uh, postmark, but I'm not entirely, I'm not exactly sure, so correct me if I'm wrong. This is just, like, a blouse, but I have taken them postmark before, and they have accepted it, but I have seen it in their clearance so many times. A lot of the pieces are just like, a little bit of a dated style. I think this is also dated, but prayers that they take that. That's just also a size large, which is a good size. All right, I could not figure out what this was. I do not pick up this brand, but the Vicel Trade Store does like it if it's new with hags because it is pretty expensive. French Connection, um, new with hags, or new with hags, and um, it's like a purple gingham. So it's a size, uh, extra large, or it's a U.S. size twelve. So I was like, as, but does this look? This is I was like, okay, is this like a little girl's dress? I'm like, this is kind of big to be like a little girl's dress but i'm like it's really short to be like a woman's dress so i think it's like a um tunic like a like a sleeve like a blouse but hopefully them i feel like they should accept that and hopefully they mark it as a 
dress so I can get more money. But if not, I don't care. Okay, 1520. I think this is a Revolve brand. Um, I don't know. I passed this over a few times, and then I just grabbed it at the end because I saw the dry cleaner tag, and I'm like, okay, somebody took good care of that, and um, it has, like, a tie front, which I think is a bit dated as well, but that's okay. Um, so I was like, you know what? We're going to try it out. Or I'm not going to... I, I looked at comps. So I'm not going to list it, but um, I will try to take it to the Bicycle Trade store. All right, two more things left. This is a new brand to me. It's called um, NAU. It says extra small. This, uh, yeah, I don't know. The comps seem pretty mixed. I think it's like a travel-y, like, athleisure brand. It's, okay, so it's, like, sleeveless on one side, and the other has, like, a drape, like, detail. This fabric is incredibly soft. So, yeah, I was happy about that one. Okay, my very last piece. Um, I This is probably one of my favorites, uh, I, but I did get some good stuff that I'm happy about. Um... So, Hutch, size 14, great size, um, new with tags. I think Hutch is an anthropology brand as well. Um, they have this price of 29, which is a really good price. It's a, like, a, in a great style. I love this purple color as well. Um, it's like a, like a twist knot dress, new with tags, great style, great size, new with tags is always a bonus. And this is 100% silk. So, win, 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 win. This is like a winner piece. Like, checks every single box. So, I was really excited about that. Um, okay, we're just gonna, you know, the, the, you know, the little mountain behind me. Like, about to go tackle Mount Everest over here. But, um, okay, favorite pieces. I definitely got, I did well in the denim section. Um... You know, it was a little bit sad that I missed some bags because I saw that she had, like, an Amy Kestenberg and Doonies and Coach Michael Kors, stuff like that, but that's okay. Um, I've grabbed some good bags sometimes. I don't really... I hate I hate photographing, measuring, and shipping bags, so it's it's totally okay. I'm not, like, upset or anything. Okay, I'm a little bit upset, but it's not, like, the end. I'm not, like, going to lose sleep over it, so. Um, I'm excited to try the J. Crew sweater blazer. Um... And that Viore tank was also pretty exciting. And, like, just, like, the whole good, like, styles and of, like, the AG jeans um, were pretty exciting to me as well. So let me know your favorite piece. Uh, what was your first thing that you guys found in the new year? Have you gone thrifting yet? What are your new year's plans? I, th I feel like this is going to come out in maybe mid to later January. So uh, Clearly, that was not the case. It, in fact, did not come out in mid to later January. But let me know your, your favorite thing that you found so far this year or anything that else that you'd like to share. I'm running a bit behind schedule, but I'm going to try to upload as much as I can. By that time, hopefully, you guys have gone thrifting. Oh, the Veronica Beer Pants. Those were a highlight as well. So, um, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And let me know if you shop at consignment stores.